So, what, what was the event for? What is the haircut for? Locks of Love. So we, I, and I don't know if, did you hear that Locks of Love had a huge, huge, yeah, it's a fundraiser, huge theft recently. Yes. Of a lot of the hair being stolen. So I've been growing my hair for the last three years. And so oh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It takes a while to grow my hair, even though it does grow fast. And so I have brand new offices. Unfortunately, I, I've been graduated from medical school for 30 years. Uh, I graduated on my birthday when I was 24. So. Um, I, this is a lot of things that all the stars were aligned. So between the new office, the anniversary, my birthday, and I had I had enough hair. I thought we could have a big fundraising event Good. and sort of bring um, awareness to some of the community businesses as well. Robin has a shop in town, okay. and so just let my patients know about Robin, and you know, her patient, her clients know about me. And is there is there a, like a certain amount of hair you need to grow before you can volunteer to get your hair cut? This? The rules for Locks of Love is 10 inches, and they uh, luckily changed their, um, basically what they do, they used to not be able to have it be color treated, but now you can. So anybody can donate 10 inches, right. grow it and do it, and it's great. It make wigs for cancer patients, for children, for adults, it's a wonderful cause. How do people find out? Could they find out through, through you, Dr. Tamori? Through me, through Robin's salon, they do this all the time, you know, at her salon, and, you know, as I said, we're we're also um, raffling off Cubs tickets, so any money that we get from that is also going to go to the cause because, as I said, they had a, a break-in and a lot of hair was stolen, so not everybody donates their hair, so they still need money to run the organization, oh, so, so we're giving money as well.